Have you ever played a game and just absolutely fallen in love with it? Then you look at what mods it has and you kind of just fiddle around, not really inspired by anything in particular. Ooh, this looks cool. Or, oh yeah, I'll take that. That seems fun. What if I told you there's a mod that I genuinely think you'll have to have for Valheim? A mod that I think might be so absolutely fundamental to every playthrough from now on that there's no reason to ever go back to vanilla Valheim again. Hello all, I'm Atlas, and I'm here in Valheim again. If you're new to the channel, I don't typically do deep dive videos anymore, as I try to keep the mod overviews around 5 minutes long to not spoil things in said mods. However, Valheim is a different beast, so this video will be a little bit more in-depth with a lot more B-roll than what I would normally do. We'll go through some config options, but most importantly, I think it would be disingenuous to gloss over what the mod does. So let's get started. Seasonality is a mod that, while it doesn't do anything drastic like overhaul the combat or add new lore-friendly creatures, it does add an entirely new mechanic to the game. Seasons. Seasons may seem like such a simple addition, of course, but in reality it adds such depth to the game that you can do things like walk on ice that winter brings if you enable that in the config. For complete transparency, some of the water clips are enhanced by RTD Oceans, but this mod on its own adds enough lightweight foliage that RTD Oceans isn't needed. Water content aside, seasonality brings a large swath of changes to the game. Things like armor becoming dusted in winter, or even all the animals getting new winter coats and skins. This mod affects shaders from the ground up to enhance everything about vanilla. This mod adds to the entire experience that is Valheim, bar none. And listen, I can talk your head off all day, but unlike my other videos, I'm gonna shut up for a little bit and let you enjoy the mod. Jumping over to the start screen to look at configurations, you can now see that this mod even affects the start screen. Although there are some minor issues with Winter, it seems to get stuck on Winter and the start screen. I do promise it does actually cycle through, but you'd be surprised. Seasonality allows you to configure things as you would like. Feel free to pause at any time to look at the options on the screen as I do talk over this portion. For power users, Rusty, the mod author, has added the ability to configure things through a YAML file type, so you can go all out adding all sorts of cool effects. You also can obviously turn off things you don't like. Want it to always be spring with pretty flowers and clear? You can do that. Want to add specific resistances during seasons and basic effects to those? Go for it. In the spring, you can have an elder boss effect take place on all players and give them enhanced stamina regen along with more uh, cold resistance. Rusty really put the power in the player's hands. Now, if you do want to configure everything as simply as possible, you can turn on the following settings to get the most bang for your buck. 
Turn on replace armor textures. Turn on replace creature textures. Turn on or change the default season time, which is one real life hour. Turn on weather and set it to either five or 10 minutes unless you like the randomness of vanilla weather. For extra fun, you can also turn on summer never cold and winter always cold. Those settings should be self-explanatory. Now, these settings that I've just described won't add or enable any crazy features or affect the balance of the game, but they will add more beauty to the game. If you guys have any setting suggestions for other users, leave them down below in the comments. But this mod has genuinely made me re-fall in love with Valheim all over again. Now, before I sign off, there is one feature I will give you basically a warning about as it does have some trouble. It won't break the game or anything, but it can be finicky. Rusty is working really hard on it, and while I love the feature despite its flaws, that's water freezes config option. As you've seen in some of the clips, all the water sources have the ability to freeze in winter. This can be finicky if you're near water during or after the freeze or thaw. For instance, if you're heading into winter, the water won't immediately freeze around you until you reload the area. And if you're heading into the spring, the water won't thaw until after you reload the area. Feel free to take your time exploring the config options, and if you don't already, download the Bepinex Config Manager so you can edit your configs in-game instead of staring at text files. As a keynote, Seasonality comes with three mods. Those mods will be linked down below, and you can receive support for Seasonality on the Odin Plus Discord server, which you can find the link for on the mod pages linked below. If you guys like this video, leave a like, sub for more content like this across various games, and if you want to support what I do, join my guild server. I'm Atlas, that mod was Seasonality, and with that, I am out.